Okay guys, put out a fifth line, pink trigger spoon, by top line, 12 inches deep, I'm probably. I'm gonna turn this a little bit. Um, it's probably gonna get tangled in everything. That's what I'm shooting for. He is putting up a fire. He is putting up a fire. Why should be eight inches long? You don't. <laughs> no. I, I, I thought eight but inches long. That, that fish, before I got the right out of the holder, he was just, the drag was just singing. So, we'll see. It was dancing though. I think you could come over the top of that. Nope, oh, go out again. There you go. Perfect. Room. Where's he at? He's over here. Oh, he's, he's all over the place. Trying to see. He's under this one. Come over the here. Go through there. Keep reeling. Keep it tight. Come over under. Come over and under. Go right over there. Go. I'm going behind you. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna. I'm gonna touch you. We're in. Tell me if I'm gonna hit anything with the boat. He's on that line. Yeah, we'll ignore it. We'll just ignore here. it. Oh, it is. it's another uh, lightning. It is. You know what you're doing. It's a big fish. Take your time. He's got him hooked real good. So it's real good. He inhaled that pink spoon. Ugh. Okay, start oh, reeling on the lead core. There you go. He's wrapped it. There you go. That's fine. Way to go, big Al. Good is. job. There you go. That's why we have the long man. <laughs> yeah. That's a heavy one. <laughs> That's a big fish. Look at that big old lightning trout, guys. That is, I don't know. I'm guesstimating. It's six pounds, I'm going to say. That's what I would say. A big old goldfish right there. He's going to be yeah. pink inside, great to eat. Pink trigger spoon, six inches deep probably. Maybe 50 feet back. So, awesome fish. That's how we do it. Quick, guys. Yep. So there, there's what we got that fish on. Just a standard pink trigger spoon, top lines, no weight, no nothing. Eight pound test fluorocarbon leader. Super simple, it worked. Howdy guys, Cal Kellogg here. Um, that trout you saw us catch in the beginning of this video, it absolutely annihilated this pink and white uh, Trigger Spoon Junior from our classic collection. Um, that fish was convinced that this was something good to eat. It didn't just nip at it, it had it way back in the mouth. No way we were gonna lose that fish. That fish thought it was getting a shad breakfast and ended up in the fish box instead. I wanna talk to you a little bit about spoon profiles and how you might go about choosing the spoons you're gonna use on your next trout fishing adventure. So, profile and size are very important when it comes to fooling trout. Collins Lake here, it's a thread fin shad bait. Those baits are fairly broad, and right now the bait is fairly small. We've played around with a pinhead like that, a very narrow profile spoon. It has wonderful action, but we haven't had any strikes on it. Contrast that with the Trigger Spoon Junior. It's about the same length, but much broader in profile We've had a great deal of success on that spoon. We've only been up here for a few days, but we are catching fish on that spoon and we are not getting hit on that spoon. Same speed, same depth, same everything. What we're doing with the Trigger Spoon Junior and the classic colors, that's from our classic collection. They've been very consistent up here. What we're doing is we're matching the size and the shape of the bait. That's about the size and the shape of the Threadfin Shad in the lake. Match the hatch catch the fish so it pays to do your homework you want to know what the predominant bait fish is at the lake you're fishing and it's nice to know the approximate size of that bait after that you just need to adjust your speed and the depth of your lure to where the fish are holding the temperament of the fish and you're going to be yelling fish on now these pinheads may come on strong a little bit later on if i need to troll a small profile spoon very quickly say three miles an hour the pinhead is great um, I can't troll the Trigger Spoon Junior at that speed. Um, I don't want to go up to a three inch spoon like a speed spoon. It's way bigger than the bait. So this might be appropriate if I was trolling fast, anywhere from two and a half to three and a half miles an hour. 
but for right now we're trolling anywhere from 1.8 to 2.2 and the trigger spoon junior in one of the classic colors is is doing really really well so the next time you hit the water think about the type of bait in the lake and the size of the bait in the lake and you're likely to be yelling fish on doesn't always work out but most of the time it does if you'd like some of these lures if you'd like some pinheads some trigger spoon juniors maybe a trout rod whatever get on over to fishhuntshoot.com and we'll hook you up with what you need we've got prompt shipping and uh, you'll be out on the water chasing trout before you know it with our gear i'm kel kellogg thanks for watching and i hope this information helps you be more effective in the water not just this year but throughout your entire trout fishing career i'll catch you next time right here on youtube